big implications for home court in the first round be down, you know, Ray, Rajon, and uh, Petrus and still find a way to win. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, one of our strengths is we got a lot of depth. Uh, we got a lot of uh, professionals on our team who are ready, always ready to step up. Um, offensively, we didn't really impact the game um, for the most part, but defensively, I think we did a great job. You know, what we, a lot, what, we, what we were able to do is get the ball to the right places. Um, we also we were able to feed uh, KG and feed Paul, play through those guys. Um, obviously, Avery's uh, emerging, and so uh, he's like, a, you know, we might have to invent like a big five or something. You know, <laughs> here. Um, but, you know, it was a great team win for us. Avery, you know, you've only known him a short time. Can you just talk about how he's developed in a short time? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I mean, he's always had the tools. I mean, when he came out of Texas, you know, extremely athletic, um, young player. Um, but uh, he's 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 got his confidence going, and he's got the confidence of our coach. And um, you know, he's really carved out a niche um, on our team. I think. I mean, you can talk about the offensive part uh, with Avery, but he's the best defender. He's the best perimeter defender in the league. If you look all around the league and um, ask point guards who they hate playing against the most, I mean, you know, everybody would probably say Avery Bradley. So um, he's a special defensive player. How have yeah. you seen his vocal leadership develop? Vocally, I mean, he doesn't really have to do too much vocally. I think he has a nice presence about himself. Um, he's not, you don't really have to be too vocal on this team. I mean, we got Kevin Garnett for that. <laughs> Paul was just talking about the fact you don't celebrate anything but hanging championship banners. But that being said, this is a pretty special division title given where you guys were at the All-Star break. No, absolutely. I mean, we, you know, everybody pretty much wrote us off um, talking about how old we were, how washed up we were. Um, and we all internally, um, you know, we never bought into that. Um, obviously coming out of a, a condensed season when there's a lockout and um, from a conditioning standpoint, um, you know, we weren't where we wanted to be early in the season. Um, but we know as we continue to get healthy, continue to round ourselves out in the shape, uh, we will be here at the end. And I think uh, a lot of people knew that, um, but uh, we, 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 uh, we knew we were going to be here.